In this video, we're going to go over FOIL, or the FOIL method for multiplying two binomials. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last, or firsts, outsides, insides, lasts. In the United States, it's most commonly taught this way. So taking our first example here, we have x plus 3 times x plus 2. We can go ahead and just distribute and come up with an answer. Sometimes though, it, uh, particularly for beginning students, it's helpful to remember FOIL so that you don't overlook any, um, any terms here. Well first, we want to look at the first term in each binomial. So that's x and x. And we're going to multiply those two together for now, just write it out. And then the outer, well that means the two that are on the outside. Well that's going to be 2 and x. I could have done it in the other order, x and 2, doesn't matter. Inner, well in this case the ones closest together here inside, that's 3 and x. And then last, well that's 3 and 2. Multiplying these things out we get x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. And I should have some equal signs here. We're going to combine our two middle terms here. So we get x squared, and the two middle terms are 2x and 3x, so that's 5x plus 6. So these two binomials multiplied together equal x squared plus 5x plus 6. For another example here, we'll take x plus 2 times x minus 5. And here again we can write out FOIL. Until you become very comfortable with it, that's a good way to learn uh, not to miss any of the multiplying you need to do here. So the first, well that's x times x, which is going to be x squared. The outer is negative 5 times x. So I'm just going to go write minus 5x. The inner is 2 times x, so plus 2x. And then the last is going to be 2 times minus 5. So, well, we know that that's not going to be positive. It's going to be minus 10. Okay? So let's combine these middle terms here. First of all, the x squared comes down. Minus 5x plus 2x is minus 3x and minus 10. So if we foiled these two binomials, we get x squared minus 3x minus 10. So for our third example, let's say we have x minus 3 quantity squared. A lot of students are tempted to say, oh, that's x squared minus 3 squared. Please don't say that. Please don't do that. You cannot just distribute this x over the uh, terms of this. What this means is x minus 3 times x minus 3. Uh, so we have to apply FOIL here. So first would be x squared. The outer well, that's x times negative 3, so that's minus 3x. The inner is also a minus 3x. And then the last, well, that's minus 3 times minus 3, that's positive 9. So taking a moment to combine those middle terms, we're going to get x squared minus 6x plus 9. And for one last example here, number 4, uh, we're going to have 2x plus 1 times x minus 3. And let me get rid of that for now. And we'll just keep track of it in our heads. Okay, 2x times x is 2x squared. The outer is 2x times minus 3, that's minus 6x. The inner is plus x. And then the last is, well, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 
So we have to take this step to combine the middle terms. 2x squared, well minus 6x plus x is minus 5x, and minus 3. So I hope you found this to be a helpful introduction to the FOIL method. Thanks for watching.